All right, guys. So when I tell people that I sell products on Amazon, the number one response I get most of the time is, wow, how did you find that product to sell? Or how do you find products to sell? I'm going to answer that question today. I'm going to take you guys with me into my computer here and take you through my average day of doing product research. So this is where I essentially I'll go into Viral Launch, which is an Amazon product research tool and look for ideas, jot them down and just spend about anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes just looking for products. Now, I'm not gonna spend that long in this video, I'll probably take about 10, 15 minutes, but I'm really gonna show you guys how I uh, set up my parameters and what I'm looking for, and then I'm gonna run you through just a bunch of ideas of what I think is good and what I think is bad. And this is something that's really important too, actually, especially if you're a beginner, is when you're looking for products, when you're looking for product ideas, of course you wanna find a good one, but half the battle is also just not picking a bad one. And let me tell you, there is a lot of bad ideas. I would say 90% of the products you see on here are gonna be bad ideas. So you really just gotta spend the time, and obviously the more you do it, the better you'll get at recognizing the bad ideas, and hopefully finding those needle in the haystack good ideas. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys, essentially run you through my my mindset and my thought process when I see certain products and why I think they're bad and why I think they're good. And one more thing before we get started, guys, if you stay till the end of the video, I'm actually gonna give you guys two very good product research ideas that I found while I was doing product research. And I, like I said before, I'm currently launching six products at the moment, so I just don't have time to launch these, but these are actually good ideas. It's not BS or anything. These are actually products that I have written down as potential good ones. But since I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna give them to you guys for free. So, and I'll, and I'll analyze them for you. I'll show you how I think they could be a little bit different and why I think they're good. And if you're watching this video, I don't get too many views right now, so you could be one of the lucky ones that gets a product to launch for free. So stick around to the end for that. Without further ado, let's just hop right into the computer here. Let's get into my viral launch account here. So once again, you're gonna need either viral launch Helium 10 or Jungle Scout to do any sort of product research because without those three Amazon tools, you can't see the numbers or the analytics that all the Amazon sellers, how much money they're making, et cetera. So we're in Viral Launch. I'm just gonna show you guys here. You can you go to product discovery and you come to search and that'll bring you to this screen here. And so this is where you put in your parameters. And let's start with the category section over here. So this is essentially, the categories of, we're gonna pretty much select whatever we want here, put in the parameters, and it's just gonna give us a bunch of keywords. And what keywords are essentially is what people search for on the Amazon search tool. And that's essentially like product ideas. Um, so we're gonna select categories here, and I've just selected these ones based on things that I know a little bit about and things that I would like to sell. But you can select some other ones if you like, like for example, pet supplies, I didn't select that, but if you have a dog and you're really into that kind of stuff, you could definitely select that. If you have a baby here, you could definitely select that. So some of these you could select. There's a few though that you definitely wanna stay away from and I'm just gonna tell you what those ones are. And they're pretty common sense ones. For example, starting from the end here, video games, obviously we're not selling that, software, you know, musical instruments, books, we're not selling those. Anything digital really, guys. So gift cards, digital music, we're not selling. Apps and games, we're not selling. We're not selling movies. We're not selling food. Electronics is a little bit of a, an iffy one. You could select that. I do know some people who sell electronics. Personally, I just try to stay away from them because they just seem a little bit complicated for me. I don't wanna deal with you know, providing instruction manuals, having to deal with a lot of returns because of you know, some sort of technical issues. So for example, my ideal product is something like a leather wallet, right? Just like a basic, it's a piece of leather, you know what it is, you know what the function is, there's nothing else to it, there's no other attachments, it's just a piece of leather, it's nice and small and light, it's easy to ship, that's my ideal product. I don't actually sell wallets, but I was just saying if there was a, uh, an ideal world, I would love to sell something like that because it's cheap, you can sell it for a lot, it's super light. Now going over to the parameters here. So we're gonna leave this one blank, average monthly sales, that can be blank. The average price, if you've seen my other videos uh, that, I, that I went over my product checklist, minimum is gonna be $25. Absolutely, minimum is definitely always gonna be $25. Maximum price, you could leave it blank. I just put 120 for the sake of the video. A keyword contains this section, we're gonna leave blank as well, but once you get a little bit 
more comfortable with product research. And let's say, for example, you want to sell a product in the golf niche. So you could put in golf here and essentially it would only give you keywords that have the word golf in it. But we're going to leave that blank. Sales to review, we're going to leave blank. Average monthly revenue. Once again, if you saw my last video, minimum is 10,000 guys. We don't want to sell any products for less than 10,000. Maximum, we can just leave blank. The average review count, once again, the minimum is zero. We're gonna leave blank, but the maximum, you can play around with this. Sometimes I'll put 500, uh, sometimes I put like I put 800 for this one, and sometimes I'll even put 1,000, but really guys, the lower the better, um, even like 300, 500. I just like to mix this number up because every time you do, it gives you a different bunch of uh, search results. So I, I keep things fresh a little bit. And then estimated search volume, once again, guys, minimum absolutely is 3,000. You, you could play around with this. You could put it 5,000, but 3,000 is the absolute minimum. And I just put a maximum of 15,000, but you could also leave this blank. I'm just trying to find something that's a little niche and doesn't have too many searches, but not too little. So that's why I kind of put three to 15,000. So after you have all these parameters in here, we're gonna click show keywords. And now we have the results in front of us here. And just to quickly show you guys, so these, this is the keyword here, cute outfits. And we're out of these sections, we're really only looking at three, which is how much search volume do they have? How much reviews do they have? And uh, how much money are they making every month? The other stuff, don't worry about it. Honestly, actually, most of the time I just look at the the, the name and then I'll just look at the reviews and the money. It's because search volume, we already know it's it's good based on the parameters we put in, right? So I'm just gonna give you guys my thought process. The first thing I see here is cute outfits. I personally wouldn't even click this word because that's just too broad. That's not an actual product, it's just a, a generic keyword. So we know it's just gonna be a bunch of random stuff. It's not something we can sell. Same with boho wall art. I know what this is, it's, well we can just click it and show you guys. So it's just some generic wall art. I would probably stay away from that. And it seems like it's a popular result. That means some a lot of people are selling that product. Now going into foam glow sticks. So this is something like that that would spike my curiosity. Um, I've actually seen this product before, but look at this. So it's got 7.2 volume and it's got 391 reviews and it's making $57,000 a month, which is crazy numbers. So I'll just show it to you guys. I would definitely click into this and just and, and quickly look into it. And so the first thing I see right now is, okay, there are these glow sticks and it looks like there's a lot of people, they look all the same. That's another thing that I noticed right off the bat. They all look the same. Okay, maybe here's a white one, but that's a sponsored ad. So essentially it looks like they're all the same products and the way they're differentiated is just by the packaging. So this guy's got 100, this guy's got 42 pieces. Personally, just from quickly observing it, it's something I would stay away from because how do you differentiate? Like there, there's already so many people selling this product. If I sell this product, I'm just gonna be one of these many people on the first page. Like look at the whole first page, sorry if I'm scrolling fast, but it's just the same product. So I don't like that. And I bet you if we go to the second page, it's probably just gonna be more of the same shit essentially. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't spend too much time on this, guys. Like I said, maybe if you're an expert, you know everything about foam glow sticks, and there's a way that you know you could make this better, and there's something specific, et cetera, et cetera, you could spend some time on it. But I don't know anything about it, and it just seems like too many people are doing it. So I'm gonna for that reason I'm gonna click off of it. Irrigation hose. Once again, guys, this just seems a little complex. I would stay away from this. Just not something I would personally want to sell. Same with this telescoping pole. I don't know what this is. Really guys, like I said, I don't need to click into every one of these. When I'm doing product research, I'm just looking at the names and I'm just trying to get the brain, I'm just trying to get the, the blood flow running in my brain and get some ideas. And sometimes I'll I'll see something and it'll just, I'll just think of something in my own head and search, go search it on Amazon. So it doesn't, your product nest idea doesn't necessarily need to come from this, but we're just using this to get the, the, the flow, get in the zone and get in the flow of just thinking of different ideas that maybe we wouldn't have thought of. So for example, uh, yeah, this is another product that we definitely want to stay away from or, or something we want to stay from is anytime you see a brand name, don't even bother clicking it. Um, I mean, you, you could click it, but don't actually sell that product. Cause even though the numbers might look great, that's a brand. So like A6 Keanu, we're not selling A6. So there's no, for, there's no reason for us to 
need to click that keyword. And once again, Roman blinds, head shears, you know, that's something I don't want to sell. That's, you know, what you use to clip the bushes, blue air filter replacement. So that's for air conditioning unit. Once again, guys, like I said, majority of these are not going to be good. Um, very few of them. I, I'll usually go through 50 pages of this before I even get like some ideas. Um, and the more you do this, the faster you'll get at it. Um, so pint glasses, this is another one that I wouldn't do. And I'll just show you guys once we get into here. So first things first, it's glass. I'd be worried about it breaking a lot of returns. I don't like that. And once again, it's, it's kind of hard to, in my opinion, it's kind of hard to figure out what kind of glass somebody likes. Like there's already so many types of glasses. What would be different about my glass? I mean, like I said, guys, if you can think of something that's really good or you know something, your specialty in this industry, then maybe you can do this. But for me, as someone who doesn't know anything about it, it's hard to come along and say, oh, well, this glass is really good because of this. And one thing I'm noticing as well is a lot of these products are under $25. So for that reason, I just wouldn't sell them. Yeah, so I'm gonna just get out of that. Pool solar lights, no. Flush mount LED lights, no. But I'm gonna just click into this for you guys as well just to show you guys. Another thing to remember too is one thing that I'm always thinking about when I'm trying to find products to launch is, can I create a brand out of this product? And something like this, you know, yeah, it says slow cheese, slow cheese or whatever. That's the brand name. But when people are buying LED lights, nobody's going to go back and be like, yeah, that brand was really good. Let me just search that brand name again for the LED lights. No, they're just going to search LED lights for flush mount ceiling or ceiling, whatever the keyword is. They're just going to search that and then they're just going to go with whatever has the most reviews, whatever has the best pictures. Nobody's actually looking at the brand. And for me, I don't like that, you know, especially when you're, if you're looking to exit or sell, if you want the potential to exit or sell your company in the future, you want to actually be building a brand. So you want to have something where people be like, wow, I loved that brand. Let me see what other kind of products they have um, in that niche. So for that reason, I'm not even going to look at things like this. 20 ounce sublimation tumbler. Let me just click this one. The numbers obviously look good and yeah. So this is kind of the same thing, guys. Once again, it's once I click into the listing, yeah, it looks good. There's some low review guys on here probably making really good money. But, I mean, that's a bundle of 25 pack. They're, they all look the same, like pretty much identical. It's just different packaging, or sorry, different bundling, right? So this one has a bundle of stickers and this and that. This one's, they're, they're all the same, guys. So once again, if I saw this, I would think, too competitive there's already too many people doing it how do you really you know you could take a shot in the dark and guess oh people might like this kind of like for example these guys okay let me just do this peach color maybe people like that but i personally try to launch simple products guys i don't want to be doing a bundle of all this random stuff and possibly have to go to different suppliers to bundle up a product i'm kind of simple minded and i just want to find something that there's not a lot of people doing it's very it's black and white this could be successful because of this not it might be successful if I do this kind of sticker or this kind of whatever this whatever this is here so for that reason once again I'm at the bottom of the page guys and it pretty much looks at the like the top of the page if somebody's coming to search this product why would they pick minor you know there's too much competition so for that reason not going to sell that product aqua joe once again that's a brand next girl products that's a brand pickleball shoes I wouldn't normally click this, but let's just look at this. Yeah, so brand shoes, no point in trying to look at that. Jersey frame, let's click into this. And this actually, I know this product, and this actually goes very well with the two product ideas that I'm gonna give you. So this will be the last one we look at, and I'm gonna tell you guys what those other two are. So this product, I actually looked at launching when I was first getting into Amazon, and I remember the numbers were really great. Essentially, it's a, as you can see, it's a case for your jersey, but the one, the reason why I didn't launch this product is because I couldn't figure out how to make it different. And I'll, let's just click the viral launch extension here so you guys can see the actual numbers on this. So it's got 6,000 search volume a month, 
And if you go to here to detailed statistics, you can see the average review count is 516, which is decently low. And the average revenue is $66,000 in the top 10 listings. That's the main one we're looking at. So that's fantastic. If you can get in the top 10 listing, you're looking at making around that. And the reviews aren't too high. So another thing I also want to look at too, guys, when I'm looking at launching a product is I come here to the standard view and this shows each of the listings. So each of these listings is here and it shows how much money they're making, how many sales they're making a month. And then here's the important thing, how many reviews they have. And essentially what I want to look for is I want to make sure not just the people with high reviews are making all the money. Like obviously this guy's got the most views. He's probably making close to the most amount of money, but I want to see if there's someone like this where it's got one review and he's making $14,000 a month. That's fantastic. So that pretty much gives me the assumption that, okay, well, if I launch a good product, I can still make some solid sales with only one review. It's not just dependent on the reviews in this niche. And look at this guy, 79 reviews. That's this guy right here, actually. So 79 reviews and it's got $38,000 a month. Really good. I'm curious to see what this guy is doing. So we can click here and we can actually see his listing pop up. So he's just got the case as well. Okay, so he's, okay, so that's interesting. So the way he differentiated his products, he has the spot for the jersey like all of them do. But then he also added a section here where there's a signature, a space for your signature and two pictures of your favorite player. So that's pretty cool, guys. So let's go back to the listing here. So pretty much all these guys were just the jersey, jersey, jersey. And then this guy came along and was like, well, what if we add two pictures? So you can tell he's different from everybody. And that's why he's able to sell 100 units and only have two reviews, which is freaking amazing. So this, once again, guys, this one is not a bad idea if you can come in with something new and different. Okay, here's, oh, this guy's actually kind of copying him too. So if you can figure out a way to make this slightly different, the numbers make sense for this product. Now I'm gonna go into the other two products that two product ideas that I think are really good because they actually relate to this very well. And the idea actually came from these. So when I was looking at this frame, I'm like, what else kind of frames could I sell? And I came up with the idea and it was a, called a card display case. So this is for anybody who collects baseball cards, hockey cards, Pokemon cards, whatever it is. And obviously that was a, quite a big thing and, and still is to this day. And I remember looking at this and thinking, there's a lot more of these now than I was looking at this previously, but the pictures all suck for these. So there's a certain few guys that have been doing it for quite a while. But let's go to the numbers here. I'm gonna click the viral launch extension so you can see. Search volume is 3,000, which is a little bit on the lower side, but I'm gonna give you guys another tip here. So when you look at the search volume, it's 3,000 for this specific keyword, card display case. But let's go to here to keywords, because there's multiple different things that people could type in to search for this card display case. For example, baseball, baseball card display case, 2.3K searches. Sports card display case, 2,000 searches. Sports card display. Trading card display, 2,700. So even though this one only had, this specific keyword only has 3,000 searches, all these other ones that are very similar that if we were to sell this product, we would target these during PPC, have a good amount of search results as well. So if you actually add all these up, that takes us well over 10,000. So the search volume is no issue on this specific product. Now, if we come back to the detailed statistics, detailed statistics, you can see it's making average top 10 listings are $16,000 a month and the average review is 146, which is super low. So once again, guys, I think this product has definitely some potential. The only thing is you have to figure out how you can make it better. I didn't really spend too much time on this, but one of the first things that comes to my mind is these pictures suck. So I would for sure to think, how can I make these pictures stand out more rather than just Photoshopped? Like, I mean, these aren't even real baseball cards. Maybe you can add, I know sometimes these cards come in like these acrylic cases. Maybe you can add the acrylic cases with, yeah, like this. Okay, so acrylic lockable case, lockable case here. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that with you guys. Maybe one of you guys watching this video is a yeah, professional at, cards or, or, or a big card collector, you can figure out a way to make this different. And I'm going to go on to the next idea, but I'm gonna leave this one with you guys. This one definitely has potential guys. And as you can see, they're not all the same with some of those other ones, like the tumbler and that foam, the glow stick thingy. If you went all the way down to the page, it was all just the same exact product. You can see here there's, there's different ones. So there's smaller ones, there's bigger ones, there's acrylic ones, there's framed ones. There's these type of cases. So this is where you can kind of get your brain flowing a little bit. And maybe 
you you know you start looking at this kind of case but then you get into more of a, a niche case like this so once again you just have to do the checklist checklist to see if the numbers make sense the next one that i'm going to give you guys i think is equally as good if not even better and that is once again i was looking at this and i thought of what other kind of cases are there and i thought of a shot glass display case so when people are going traveling some people like to collect shot glasses and you can frame them when you get home so look at this once again it's a super niche thing i didn't even know about it but i stumbled upon it and the numbers for this are really good from from what i remember so we're going to click the viral uh, uh, viral launch chrome extension here show the numbers quickly before we go into the, the products so as you can see eleven thousand searches a month for shot glass display case if we go to the detailed stats here twenty six thousand dollars the average top 10 are making and with an average review count of 346. So those are some really good freaking numbers, guys. That's a good amount of money and very low reviews. And if we come into the, uh, the listings here, you can see these guys are all making pretty good money, 100,000, 37,000, 52,000. This guy's only got 21 reviews, he's making 8,000, so that's pretty solid still. And once again, when I come into this listing, the first thing I notice, once again, they're just ugly cases i mean they're not hideous but they're all kind of that same looks like wooden you know pretty typical looking here's the guy with 21 reviews making to eight thousand dollars yeah that's one of the newest listings i would think and uh, the one thing i like about this as well guys as you notice so with the tumbler and with the other foam light up stick thing if you went down the page it was all just the same stuff and with this one, you can see there's different designs. There's ones that are smaller, a little bit bigger. There's some acrylic ones. So it's not, it's not too congested with all the same things. If, if you could come up with something that was different, you could take a good piece of the pie. This is really cool. I didn't even know this. That, that looks, I'm not going to look into that, but that could be a really cool product. Let's get, stay back on track though. So now we have this product here that looks pretty good and it's, it, the numbers make sense. So how can we differentiate this product? So what I usually like to do is I like to come over here and go to Etsy. If you guys don't know what Etsy is, so Etsy is essentially a site, most of you obviously probably know what it is, but it's everything's custom on there. So you can get a lot of engravings in your thing. It's, it's a lot more expensive than Amazon because everything's custom made. So I'll usually try to reverse engineer. I'll go on Etsy and I'll see if there's anything super popular on Etsy. And then I'll go back to Amazon and see if it's on Amazon. And if something's doing really well on Etsy, then that's gonna essentially give me a, the assumption that it could do pretty well on Amazon because it's already, it's already kind of proved itself. So I came over to Etsy and I noticed this really cool looking shot glass display case with these neon lights. Now, I mean, obviously there's a little bit of electrical aspect to that, but it's just a plug. There's nothing, there's no batteries or anything like that. So, but this, I mean, in my opinion, I thought this was really cool and it's got a good amount of reviews and it's at the top here and there's quite a few listings like there's this one that's changing colors there's this one as well this one also looks really nice but this is a lot more modern if you have a modern house it's not like an old school looking wooden case like this and if you come back here to amazon nobody's selling that guys nobody at all like i went all the way down this page couldn't find anything and even on the second page there's nothing This one looks really cool, but I did see, there was one LED one that I did see, but it was LEDs from the bottom. It wasn't the whole case that was lighting up and it was just an acrylic stand like this. I wasn't BSing you guys. This is, I mean, this is a really good product. Um, I would even like, part of me is thinking like you should launch this, but I've just got too much on the go. Oh yeah, so here we go. So this is kind of like a one box shampoo for one bottle, but it's not the whole stand like this. And these are obviously the best sellers. So. If one of you guys are watching this, this is definitely a good product idea to launch. So let's take it one step further. Now we've got the idea, we know how to differentiate the product. Now we go into Alibaba and we go to shot glass display case. And what do we see? Nothing, there's nothing here, nobody's selling it. How come, that's, that's weird, right? No, that's actually great, guys, because now nobody else can just come to Alibaba. It's, it's a lot more difficult for someone to just come in here and start selling the same product as us, as us right? There's going to be a lot more hurdles for them to cross. Everybody just wants easy stuff. But if we can actually come in here, reach out to the suppliers and custom make this cabinets, 
and sell them, you're gonna have a huge competitive advantage over everybody else on Amazon. Because most people just wanna come in here and just buy something that's already pre-made and, and sell it on Amazon. So if we go over here, we go to contact supplier, you can literally reach out to these suppliers because they all make similar display cases and say, this is what we're looking for. Can you make this for us and get quotes on this? My guess is this product is probably gonna be around, I don't know, 15 to $20 a piece, maybe 10 to $20, give or take. So it's not a super cheap product to launch, but not super expensive either. So I guess that's the only downfall. If you have a limited budget, then this might not work for you. But yeah, guys, I told you this could be a really good idea. And I think we'll just end the video off there. So we pretty much got to see what a lot of bad products look like. And then at the end, I also showed you two really good products that have great potential, especially that shot glass display case. If one of you guys watching this video ends up launching this product, make sure to send me a message on Instagram. Keep me posted with the update. I'll try to help you as much as I can. And if you guys have any other questions, my Instagram is below. You guys can send me a message. So that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.